Hey all, welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4. We're playing as Hindustan. We are growing. Uh, we are slowly moving east. We annex some of our vassals. We are considering how to go after Africa, which uh, I was reminded that I really can't break apart like I want to because they'll be protectorates. So we're just going to take Ethiopia, take some of Kilwa, see if we can't get down to Madagascar. It'll be fun. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a colony going down here. We will likely also send colonists out this way as soon as we can. They are much more aggressive. We don't yet have the range, but we're going to do it. Um, spices and Diego Garcia, I'll take those. We're still we're fabricating claims on Ethiopia. Ethiopia and on Oman that's good yep um, I guess we could continue fabricating claims on the Timurids, we're gonna have to go after them eventually I believe they are part of my coalition yeah, Timurids uh, uh, Champa. oh and Ming well that's fun well, <laughs> that would suck. We, finding all of that would be a pain. We could do it. It would be a pain. And would hurt a lot. Especially because we do have troops a little bit farther away. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, we're just pushing along in admin tech. I haven't had to core anything in a while, so that helps. Yeah, Naj knows. That's fine. What do we want to build? Oh, right. Timurids. Let's get some claims on Timurids. Buildings. Buildings. Hello, Ohio. Sort of like Ohio, is that what's going on here? Guys, you really need to build more temples. It's just like the basis of my of my happiness is temples. So when I annex you, I want you to have temples. That's that's the new rule. I've just declared it. Um I can build armories. I'm less excited by those. Continue to build marketplaces. Which we do need. Help our trade power some. That'll work. Um, we are at max for military. No, we have one more we can build. Nah. I don't know. Make another infantry. Let's look at. Let's see here. View my country. Hill can only have the two rivals. That's really annoying. Improve defenses in Kathmandu. That's my mission. Oh. Why am I not doing that? That seems really funny. Hi, H Dog. Welcome. And Jays. I think I missed you earlier. Let me see more claims. We'll take whatever we can from you. Pegu wants a royal marriage. Sure. I'm just going to annex you soon, but, you know, be that as it may. And hello, Ruby. Welcome. Okay, got some bigger armies. So I have to figure out Champa is down there hanging out. Like, I don't even. I'm, <laughs> whatever. 
I feel like I should just run them over at some point and annex them, but we'll wait. We'll deal with Haya first. We do have this entire coalition we have to deal with, which is annoying. They have no allies. They're still just allied with Korea. I'll chase just down there. Are we gaining money again? Yeah. I'm going to reduce inflation. I'm also going to raise stability, I think. Good enough. I'd rather be a little bit more stable. There is a 5.5% chance that... Wow, why are they so angry? I don't know, they must be nationalists. That's fine. Um, we are still... yeah. Extra free diplomat. What were we doing? Timurids, Nosh... in Ethiopia. Looks like Persia took back uh, whatever was here. I'm forgetting now. It split off for a little bit. They are gone. This war seems to be going on forever. They're just barely beating Naj. Naj, who are you allied with? You're allied with the Tamarids. Oh! Why did you do that? I mean, just why? <laughs> we can take them. We can take any of those guys individually. But our coalition is a little bit scary because of Ming and Ayatthaya. Like, so any one of these three alone I'd be happy with. But not together. That's highly annoying. Well, maybe we go after Ethiopia. Who are you allied with? The Mamluks. You know, I'm not too worried about that. I have to get another number of troops down there, but... Let's take our barks. Let's get rid of them. It costs us a little bit of money, but that's fine. Let's build cogs. Three and four. That'll give us to we'll give four more. So that'll give us a, basically a full army's worth. Perfect. No, that's too many. I can do math. Math is easy. I can do math. Um. Shoot. What to do? What to do? Clearly the answer is yawn and be tired. Really up our tax. I don't care about inflation reduction. Seemed worthwhile. We're slowly building these out, but let's build some more marketplaces while we have a chance. I'm really tempted just to annex Pegu now, too. We have the Diplo points. It would be entirely easy. Naj allying with the Timurids, I think. So the question is, would the Timurids take charge of that war? Naj did just grow. They're a decent size. What are my accepted cultures? Not a lot. <laughs> See if I can find that other for another way. We have a lot of unaccepted culture now. Um, 
They accept those cultures. So not many. We could start converting. God, I have so many things I want to use Diplo Points for. Crush the Timurids. That would be fun. Build a Earthen Rampart in Monganai. Clearly that's what we're going to do. These guys just had no anything over here. It's horrible. Uh -huh. Finish off the marketplaces. Very important to our well-being. Hello. Uh, I'm going to call you thanks. 1138. All these names that I can't easily pronounce makes it very hard. Come on, guys. Make it easy for me. I've yet to see one bob. Um, I really should go after Kachar at some point. I just need to kill them. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of a quiet period. It's sort of okay after we had that series of wars. It's nice to have a break for a little bit. So 15 transports, so a decent sized army. How big is Ethiopia? 15. So we could get two of ours over there and then basically just run over them. And almost have enough supply limit. Crawford, welcome to the channel and to the chat. Sort of exciting. What idea can we get? Quality ideas. I do want to finish this off for quantity ideas. Really give us a lot more. Um, that's fine. Would love to get all the way up to discipline. Actually, I want to finish off all of these. It's sort of depressing how much I want to do that. Permanent Casas Belly against Pagans. Tempting. Two, one more. And I guess some of the, yeah. Down here, guys. That's alright. I'm going to try to turn this green as much as possible here. Pegu, do you want to survive any longer? Annex the Vassal, it's 195 Diplo power. We have more, much more than that. 13. Is there any reason to keep you around? We're not going to grow you. Eh. Kachar, are you allied with anyone? Diplomacy. Here, we'll fabricate a claim on both of your provinces. We're just going to take them and get rid of you for once. Let's start moving this army. Over. That's fine. Um, because we'll want to take on Ethiopia soon. They haven't I don't anyone more problematic than Mamluks, have they? No. Their independence is guaranteed by Najd. Could we chain Ethiopia to Najd? To the Timurids? Oh. 
Okay. Well, we're definitely going to do Kachar. Because why the heck not? We've lost a general, that's fine. We could hire a general. Um... Mogadishu is now cored, which is awesome. So we can core all over the place down there now. We have converted another province to Hindu. Let's see. There we go. Um, to almost all the marketplaces. Really OCD about marketplaces and uh, temples. I wind up trying to build them everywhere. Otherwise, I'm not sure. We'll see where else, what else we build. And that's our mission. So we get another one. Improved defense, defenses mission. The rival of our rival. Who is that? No. So we will improve defenses. Mm. Tongu. Tongu. Make you a star fort. Poof, you're a star fort. I'm getting loopy. It's been recording for too long. I think this is probably my last episode from considering how loopy I've been got getting. <laughs> Ethiopia, Namlux, Naj. Right, religious zealots where we are. Converting. Sure. There's just too many people we want to attack that are like... The ally chains are too dangerous. We want to go after Timurids, we want to go after Alethaya and Ming. They're all in a coalition. And this stuff down here is ridiculous. Just worried if we went after Ethiopia, Naj would come in and the Timurids would come in. Also, Kazakh gained some more land. It's impressive. Did Kazan die finally, maybe? No, they're still there. Lose 100 Diplo Power or 5 years of trade. Okay, that's fine. They're still making 35, which is ridiculous. I'm very excited by that. To figure out where to put our next colonist. I don't think we can get here. We're close. Maybe they'll be closer with this, but I doubt it. Will we max our manpower? No, 167 is our max. Okay. Let's... Are we still fabricating the claim on Kachar? The first one. I was going to fabricate two. Yeah. Well, while we're at it, let's remember that we need to get more claims going. Fabricate claim here. Fabricate claim here. Once I can get to the Philippines, I will colonize the Philippines. But I cannot quite reach it yet. I would love to get down there. That is my goal. It's one of many goals, but it is a goal. <laughs> I was like, where am I taking attrition? Oh, right, there's a battle. Whoops. Another Diplo idea. Settler increase or another merchant. 
Hmm. Or we could wait and grab the next tech, which I think is probably what we're going to do. That was our timer. We're going to fabricate another claim on Kashar so I don't forget. And that is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I, as always, very much appreciate it. Uh, would love any comments, questions, likes, etc. that you may have, and have a good night.